friend, singer-songwriter, Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer, friend, and jack-of-all-trades, Chris Horn. And we're Those, Those Taste Bud Guys. guys. Hey guys! Okay, this is gonna be a super fast one. We only have four minutes left. We have a camera setting up over here, which, you know, we'll cut to, but I gotta get way down like this to do it. Uh, so if we run out, we've got a separate audio or a separate video source, but it's gonna be weird and a weird angle. But, you know. Hey, Welcome to the show. Try something <laughs> new, right? <laughs> okay, I think we're on our last thing of the night, which is gonna be. Yes, all these have been sitting off the side of the camera the whole time. Well, we're on a coronavirus thing where we're trying to cut as many episodes as we can before we have to like go to our respective farms and uh, camp out in the woods and do our thing. Um, yeah, so this is the last beer of the night after several whiskeys and tequilas. This? Oh, here we go. New Holland Brew. Yes. And this is the Dragon's Milk white not mm -hmm. dragon's milk stout right a lot of people have had which i've is, had that and i can't say i was a huge fan of it you don't like it i like it i think it's a pretty damn good beer this one the dragon's milk stout i go to a lot of ren fests renaissance festivals i enjoy them and the dragon's milk thing became a huge deal by Game of Thrones, all yeah, that stuff. It's a good name, yeah. It's, it's a good name, yeah. especially for that. I can't say I liked it. it it's was, like it the only game stuff. It's it's a thing. This one, Lyle says, I will love. Fun oh, fact. It's not a stout. No, it's definitely not a stout. Don't you stop pouring? Yes, please. I would like some as well. <laughs> Um, I've had this. I picked this up from uh, when I was back in Michigan, I believe, um, a while ago. This is a 6% um, beer. So. Yeah. I assume this is an ale? No. Bourbon barrel aged white stout. I've no so it idea. is a stout, but I've it's not... I was going to say, I thought I read that it was a stout. I have no idea what that uh, means. It looks like a pilsner with a massive head. I've never had a white stout before. I have no idea what that means. Oh. Oh. It smells like a Mexican chocolate stout. That is... There's some, like, cinnamon and, uh... Jalapenos? Yeah, some spiciness. There's hey, some... By the way, like, subscribe... Like us on, what, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, Snapchat now, uh, TikTok, those maybe, taste bud guys. Maybe. I don't know about TikTok. I don't know about that. I'm pushing for it. Social Morgan <laughs> may have put TikTok. I don't know. We're too old for TikTok. I can't imagine us being on TikTok. That's not true. Surely there's some old people on TikTok. Yeah, Surely. but I think they make fun of them. What? Yes, of course they do. Of which we should definitely be a part of being made fun of. I'm going to go down here real low, I gotta, so I gotta in case we have to switch to this camera. The light on the camera is blinking. Um, so this uh, this is drastically different than the Dragon's Milk Stout that um, is normally okay, is, pervade. Is, is this a nitro? It's not a nitro. Because isn't the other Dragon's Milk Stout, it's nitro, right? I don't know, to be honest with you. I feel like it was... Uh, smooth, creamy, legendary. Mm. Holland, Michigan. Mmm. You went straight to drinking. Yes, I did. It's good. <laughs> Have you not tasted it yet? Not yet. Mm. There is a bit of spice in the nose, but it's not as prevalent in the taste. I will say... Okay. When I went to Michigan, I bought a bunch of beer... And when I say a bunch of beer, I mean not that much beer. But when I got to the register, it was a lots of monies. Um, the link to that episode's up here. Yes. Um, I was not disappointed. I When I got back home and actually started trying some of the stuff, man, worth every penny. But it's not a cheap beer. How um, much was this one? I can't remember how much this one was per se, but it wasn't the bargainest of bargains. <laughs> okay. 
All right. No, you're right. Um, on the nose, there's a distinct pepper. I think I just quit. If it did, we're down here now. <laughs> so I'll move over to this direction. Uh, we expected that. Thank you for bearing with us. Um, now, by the way, you know what this wall looked like in the mirror that I'm supposedly always staring into. He does. He does stare straight into it. So... Okay, that's weird. As spicy as that smells on the nose, and you get all those peppers and the jalapenos, you taste jalapeno, but there's yep. zero spice. Yeah, it's just the flavor component. Um, with a little bit of chocolate, maybe some vanilla, no caramel, no fruit. Um, I agree with everything you've said so far. It's like a good chocolate stout, but it's not as... Let me see, if I didn't know this was clear. It's not as filling. It's not as robust. It's not as big. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It doesn't have that huge, big um, flavor profile that uh, um, the, the chocolate stouts or the big dark stouts have. Uh, it's not quite there. Oh, yeah, let's see. We'll turn that down and move that up <laughs> like that because, you know, we're doing this blind now. I can't even see the monitor. We hope we're in screen. If we're not, I'm sorry, guys. Um... I like it, though. Has your opinion changed of Dragon's Milk? It has for Dragon's Milk White. <laughs> I still don't think the Dragon's Milk the Stout, in general, is I, a particularly good... I tend to agree with you. I think the Dragon's it's Milk... thin. That one's thin. This one, I still like, thin, has a lot to offer. I like the Dragon's Milk Stout. I think that it... Um, I think you're right. It is a bit thin in terms of the general spectrum, but I like I like thin stouts. They're drinkable. They're, okay, that's fair. They're a little more approachable. Um, I like stouts you need a knife and a fork with. <clears throat> that's very true. Um, stouts I, that are more like moose. But I think that this is infinitely better. There's more flavor packed per punch. It's not the like gut filling beer that you would expect from a stout, um, but it's got more flavor than you, like from this coloration, oh man, I would Oh yeah, that, uh, you could not expect that from what you see on uh, on that color. If you see Dragon's Milk white, just expect white chocolate. Just say white chocolate stout, you'll have most of what you need to know. I've got this crazy idea for this. You know what this should happen here? Yes. An Irish car bomb with tequila. Which I'm sure would be not an Irish car bomb at that point. That but can like you a drop a, te a drop <laughs> <laughs> drop a nice, uh, not necessarily a peppery tequila, but a nice smooth tequila, maybe like this one, oh. uh, the Classe Azul. Drop something in there and just give it that little bit more of an alcohol edge. I think I would like this better if it was an eight percent beer. I like the smell of it. This seems like a stupid decision. <laughs> this is uh, seven or eight episodes in, so we knew it would be a stupid decision at the end of this. But we're not using the Class A Azul, which you mentioned, at $130 a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it smells pretty good. It was good before. It's not terrible now. Mm -hmm.